Yesterday, Fortnite announced that the cost of V-Bucks was increasing, and per usual, the internet became outraged without thinking things through. You had all the typical responses. Oh, Epic Games is a billion dollar company. Why do they need to raise the prices? Epic Games is greedy. They just want money. Yes! Yes, they do! And you want them to have it, and here's why. I want you to think about something for a minute. Fortnite is a free-to-play game, meaning that without spending any money, you have full access to everything Fortnite has to offer without spending a dime, with the exception of Save the World, which five people play. So if the game is free, how do you think Epic makes money? V-Bucks. Think about this. You get to play one of the greatest video games ever made for free, and the only time you'll have to pay for something is if you want an optional cosmetic change. The cosmetics at their core don't necessarily change the experience of the game. This is coming from someone who has over 600 Fortnite skins. Fortnite cosmetics are more of a cultural experience than they are a necessary aspect of the gaming experience. But why do they have to raise the price of V-Bucks if they're making billions of dollars? Well, a few reasons. First, there's the half a billion dollar lawsuit, which they have to pay to the Federal Trade Commission. Then there's the creator economy, which takes up 40% of generated revenue to pay content creators. Now, some people think that this is a bad idea, but I think it actually proves that Epic is not greedy, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Finally, the cost of everything is going up, and with all due respect to my viewers, I feel like for a lot of you, this is the first dose of real life that you've had to experience. Welcome to Economics 101, inflation. Lesson one, inflation sucks and makes everything more expensive, including the cost of a virtual currency that requires no physical overhead. Meaning, the reason why the cost of V-Bucks is going up isn't because it's more expensive to make V-Bucks, but it's because Epic as a business is losing money somewhere with Fortnite. Tim Sweeney, the CEO of Epic Games, just stated that they were spending more money than they were making, which is why we hadn't seen as many live Fortnite events as we did back in the OG days. This has also meant they unfortunately had to lay off 16% of their staff. Guys, what we have to understand is that the world is changing, not just Epic Games, and these changes that you're seeing within Fortnite are just one small aspect of a lot of bigger things that are happening. Some of these things are actually really good changes, but I'll get to that in a minute. Ever since 2020, I've been paying attention to price fluctuations with everything that's gone on in the world the last three years there's been so much that's transformed the small price increase of v-bucks is probably one of my least concerns do you know how much ass wipe costs right now toilet paper this shit is expensive this is the harsh reality of the world we live in and if you want to survive as a business or even as a normal person you have to adjust which is why epic had to increase the cost of v-bucks but Here's the crazy part, and this is the thing that no one's talking about. The price increase doesn't prove that Epic Games is being greedy. It actually proves the opposite. These new prices that are gonna take effect after October 27th, they're not even as expensive as Fortnite was six years ago. When Fortnite first came out, these were the prices for the V-Bucks. With the new prices, even for the most expensive tier, which is 13,500, it's still $10 less than what it used to be all the way back in 2018. If Epic were as greedy as everyone says, they would have brought the prices back up to where they were in chapter one, or they could have gone a step further and done something even worse. Even though the purchasing power of your real world money has decreased for the purchase of V-Bucks, your in-game purchasing power of the V-Bucks themselves has stayed the same, meaning if Epic really wanted to be greedy, they could have raised the cost of all cosmetics and kept the price of V-Bucks the same. So maybe a skin that would normally be 800 V-Bucks is now 1200. So although you're not spending more real world money on V-Bucks, your purchasing power of the V-Bucks is actually reduced, meaning you have to buy more V-Bucks to get the same skins. Instead, they chose a smart decision by only raising the cost of the V-Bucks and the packs that we buy. Does it still suck? Yes, but at the end of the day, it's a necessary evil in order to keep the game going. And that's what we all want to continue to keep playing Fortnite. Even when it comes to the layoffs, I think Epic did it in the most ethical way possible. Times are tough, and if the company is to stay alive, sometimes they have to cut employees. However, those employees that are getting laid off are getting severance packages with six months worth of pay. That's insane. A lot of you may not know this, but one of the reasons why I quit my job last year is because there were a lot of changes going on which were similar to what's happening at Epic Games right now. People were getting laid off or different managers were getting moved to different positions. Rather than me staying and sticking it through to see what would happen to me, I decided to leave ahead of time and pursue content creation. But for the people that did stay and were eventually cut later, they only got two weeks to about a month's worth of severance from what I was told by secondhand information. Six months worth of severance is very generous. These people can probably get jobs at other companies, not to mention the terms of termination were actually a good thing, meaning it's not gonna reflect negatively on the resumes. Finally, I wanna address something which I don't think any content creator has ever brought up about 
Epic's business model. Epic genuinely cares about their community and the games that they make. Specifically, when it comes to Fortnite, the game is so impacted by community response and feedback, we are integral to the furthering and the culture of Fortnite as a video game. We, the players, influence decisions on a regular basis on the direction of where Fortnite goes. And although we may not always like all of the decisions, there are a lot that are made because of our feedback. Epic appreciates it so much that they pay 40% of the revenue to content creators through maps and a supporter creator code. The reason why Epic pays content creators so much is because they find us more valuable than someone who sits behind a desk and works directly under them in the office. They would rather continue to pay the content creators the 40% than to keep the 16% that were laid off in the office. That might sound harsh, but this change is a reflection of the times that we're living in. Guys, I'm 28 years old, and in the short time that I've been on this planet, I have seen some of the most groundbreaking inventions hit humanity. What you are witnessing firsthand is a new revolution in how business is conducted, not just within gaming, but within the economy. If you're a successful content creator, that's normally the case because you have a rare combination of talents. And now business is shifting in a way to where people want to pay you for those talents. Epic Games is not the first company to do this, but I would argue they probably do it the best. Fortnite Creative is literally a hub of independent dev teams that all work for Epic Games on a commission structure. You have a map that does well, you get paid handsomely for it. That should excite you. In many ways, it's creating more jobs for more people. And even for those of us who are YouTubers or TikTokers, we still get paid handsomely for our work as well, too. We're living in a world where people who have brilliant ideas or unique talents can earn a stable living and support their families, all from the comfort of their homes, while also providing value to businesses and people like you at the same time. The only reason why a lot of us are able to make content on the level that we do is because of one, our amazing audiences and people like you guys that support us, but two, because of companies like Epic that also also pay us on the back end to do certain projects for them as well. So when you're looking at the rising cost of V-Bucks, don't be mad. It's not because Epic Games is greedy or because they're trying to take advantage of you. It's because they're trying to keep Fortnite alive. And at the end of the day, isn't that what we all want?